Solstice source code got leaked yet i've only seen like 1 million skids so today i'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can skid solstice yourself <laughs> i'd say about 250 people told me to stop covering solstice skids and so i mean technically i'm not right now right so to get your hand on the solstice source you can join my discord server link in the description and just head over to the solstice channel for the rest, you're also going to need like a couple of programs to be able to do this. Uh, I'll assume that some of you have like at least some of them already, but the first one over here is going to be MSYS2. Uh, you, I'll link everything down in the description below as well. By the way, you want to download this. So here in the M2, you want to type some shit. Uh, you can copy this from the description probably or just copy it from what I'm typing right now. It's going to be Pac-Man, uh, then dash S M I N G. W dash W sixty four dash X eighty six uh dash I mean underscore uh sixty four dash bin utils just like that beautiful then we can hit enter and I mean that's gonna install some shit uh so like you wanna press on Y now you know the keyboard uh, the 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 keyboard in your button that has the letter Y on it this one over here. But I ain't gonna reinstall all that shit, so you can just do that. Alright, now here are my downloads, we have the uh, Solstice release, so we can just um, right click on this, click on Extract All, and then Extract. If you can't extract this, you'll need like, something like WinRAR or whatever, and then you can do that. If you don't have that yet, I will link it in the description below. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of links down there. Alright, here we go, it has been extracted, uh, the Solstice release, right over here. We can just delete this zip file or whatever. Uh, we wanna go into here, and then I recommend making a folder called build, which is, we're gonna build in that, so we we'll just go build right over there. And we can enter in this. Alright, so for this next part, we need a program called CMake. Uh, this is gonna be, well, you know where this is gonna be linked. Alright, so for the next step, we will also need a Visual Studios 2022 right over here. Link in description. Some of you may already have this though. Uh, while we're at it, also install Git Bash. Uh, yeah, link in description, right? Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys a pretty cool trick right over here. We're in this uh, build folder, and if we click here and then type in CMD, it's going to open up command prompt in uh, this current location. <laughs> oh, wow, pretty cool, right? Uh, anyways, we want to like type some more things here. And that's why we open it up. So we want to type in CMake dot dot dash G and then between quotation marks visual studio studio uh, uh, 17 20 G 22 close quotation mark and dot dot for good luck. It's normal that this takes a while chat to be patient. Alright, so at this point, the uh, build folder has been filled in successfully, so that's great, and we'll get to the building in a second, um, but for right now, we can just, like, do anything to this client that we want, um, so we can just basically, if you want, you can right-click on this, then, in my case, more options, and then we can open up the entire thing with uh, Visual Studio, that's gonna open it all up, you can do it if you want, you can, like, fuck around with this, whatever, uh, of course, you can come back, rebuild it later after you make more adjustments and the like. Really do whatever you want. Um, in my case, I'm not gonna, like, actually make it a good skid. I'm just gonna rename it. Actually, only renaming a client is what makes it a good skid, um, to be honest. Alright, so we, um... I mean, the main stuff is going to be in this SRC folder over here, and then in features, this is where you will basically find all of the actual features of the client, um, especially when you go into the modules area, this is going to contain all of the modules sorted by category that you would find in the click UI that the client has, so that's pretty sick, right? Anyways, uh, we can just, you know, start editing all these things uh, in combat, for example, maybe we want to uh, edit the the aura i don't know maybe you can do that i'm an idiot i can't so what i'm just gonna do is i'm gonna press on search here then i'm gonna look for the watermark i can't even type correctly uh and then i find two uh files a dot hpp and a dot cpp and uh, we want to edit these so uh, here in this case i have the uh, header file open so that's uh that's that's pretty cool here we can see a bunch of things uh, in this case, I'm just going to rename Solstice to, like, whatever racial slur I want. 
because apparently that's what most skitters decide to do nowadays. Nah, I'll just call this uh, Kanye West. That looks good to me. Uh, and then I could just like save this or whatever. All right, apparently this was not the one I was supposed to change. So um, I'm going to change that back. <laughs> uh, the one you need to change is in the CPP file. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's basically all the changes that I wanted to, wanted to make here. Uh, the client is finished, guys. So now I'm just going to uh, locate this build folder we uh, messed with earlier. We can right click on this and I'm going to open this up with Visual Studio. Uh, also, by the way, the first time you open this up, it might tell you something about like uh, a CMake integration or whatever. You you just can click on like no. In here, you want to locate the um, solstice.sln. Uh, by the way, this is the Solution Explorer. If you don't see this or whatever, you want to go over to View, and then you can bring up the Solution Explorer right here. Uh, Solstice.sln, and we can just click on this and wait for it to load. And then here, um, I think like these are all the dependencies or whatever. And then uh, when, once we have that, we can go over to Build here, and they want to press on Build Solution. Like that. All right, so I've got our injector over here, and um, we want to select the newly built DLL file. So we want to go into the build folder. Remember, that's the one we made earlier. Then into the debug area over here, and then, oh, wow, there's a DLL right here. That is very cool. Um, you'll notice that this is going to open up. This is the console. It's incredibly useful because basically what we're doing here is we're building onto a dev build, which means the console is going to open up. If you close this, this will also close. So don't, don't, don't close it. But if you are actually customizing it, um, unlike, unlike me, well then, uh, and and like it, it crashes or something or there's errors, you'll be able to debug it nicely. So that's pretty cool, right? Anyways, um, I guess I can just head into a world. So here, obviously, I've skidded solstice. You can like skid anything else. Um, if I like remember where I keep all the SRCs that I have saved, then I'll, um, then, then I'll, like, link a few more down in the description. I know I have, like, the boost source, and I'm pretty sure I have, like, Night Moon as well or whatever. Anyways, uh, we can open this up, and we can turn off the IRC immediately, like, the IRC is not gonna work. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty nice, that's basically what I did. Um, subscribe for this. Actually, I forgot, I also added a module here. Never mind, I didn't add a module here, um, it didn't work, and I don't want to rebuild the entire thing, but basically, I guess now just when you hover above Aura, it says automatically jiggles booty. I mean, <laughs> this was supposed to be its own module, I'm not sure how I did this, but okay, man, I mean, W customization, of course, right? So, um, yeah, man, if I was, like, actually good, then I would have done more stuff, but, um... My, my eyes are scarily blue. What is this? Uh, all right. Yeah, so for the rest, that's basically that. Uh, thank you also, by the way, uh, Draco. Shout out to you. Best uh, best dev out there. For real, for real, for real. Um, yeah, I, 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 to be fair, ironically enough, I kind of skidded his skidding tutorial. So, I mean, that's cool, right? Um, you know how we skidders work. Uh, yeah, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.